Welcome or welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm super excited to be giving you guys a huge book haul so without further ado let's just hop right into the video okay a little disclaimer if you hear someone yelling outside I don't know what that is I don't know what that's about let's just ignore it and carry on with what we're doing the first book that I have on my list is rich dad poor dad I believe that everybody and their father mother grandmother great 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 great, great 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 daddy know what this book is okay this particular book i actually picked it up because i wanted to try my hand at learning some more about financial literacy financial freedoms financial stability and how to actually get my life together financially even though i'm somebody who is super super good with their money i am the budgeting and saving queen however i feel like i wanted to learn more i felt like there was more that i need to learn there was a missing piece and embarking on finding that missing piece and learning about financial literacy freedom stability and even financial opportunities and ways to make my money grow i stumbled upon one of the most famous books when it comes to financial literacy and i decided to pick this one up so once i read it i'll let you guys know i feel like I have learned so much like I said before even though I am good at saving budgeting I feel like there is still so much that I have to have to have to learn and implement into my life so I definitely got that book the next book that I have on my list is flowers on the moon and this is what it looked like I am somebody who is heavily 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 always been into semi poetry books i don't know if they're called poetry books they're just like one sentence a few sentence like words put together and we sometimes call them poetry i don't know if that's the right term for books like this i do have a few more of these on my list but when i saw the image i was like yeah i have to get this book there's something so like beautiful about just the moon in the middle and the flowers just blooming outside of it even though you know that like flowers do not bloom on a moon it just looks so beautiful and i was like yeah and i just want to read the back to you guys because i feel like the back is just so beautiful so it goes quote i am not for everyone and that's my magic you can't take that away from me end quote and i don't know i just felt like i needed to pick up another one of these books and i'm super super excited to read this book like i'm very excited the next book that i have on my list is burn after writing and this is what it looks like i actually picked this book up quite a while ago and I just decided to like throw it in here but I saw it when it started going like super duper viral I feel like the concept of this book is just so beautiful like the ability to know that you can write whatever in this book you can be honest you can be brutal you can be cutthroat and no one is allowed to judge you because you're gonna burn it after you finish writing it and I think that's like so freaking I don't know I don't know if that's like poetic is the right word but I think that this is so freaking beautiful like you're just super duper honest about your opinions your thoughts or whatever it is that this book asks you to write in it and no one is watching we as people we're more naked we're more honest we're more truthful when there isn't anybody watching so i'm definitely interested to see how and what i would write in this book after i get into it and i don't know if i'll actually burn it who knows me burn a book what is this fahrenheit 51 y'all not gonna get that joke it, it if you caught that joke comment down below and let me know if you caught that joke it's kind of like a book thing it's kind of like a if you know you know the next book that i have on my list you cannot see the cover but i'll show you guys on the side this is the secret another popular book that has been swarming tiktok youtube everywhere this is the secret but i actually did see the movie to this book maybe like two three years ago and it really impacted me so much so that i went to go get the book so next up we have think and grow rich now let's get into think and grow rich i'm gonna be so honest with you guys i feel like this book is like the most 
craziest book ever. For some weird reason, I feel like this is a book that you have to read when it's your time. Does that make sense? Like, every single time that I try to read this book, it does not pan out. Like, it is that weird? Like, I don't know what that is. But every time I try to read this book, it's like, it, it's given very much, it's not your time yet. It's not your time. So this book is basically kind of like a money-making secrets kind of book. It has a lot to do with your mentality around money, whether or not you have a poverty mindset, how to actually think and grow rich. We're thinking, we're acting, we're doing, we're implementing skills, we're implementing thoughts, all of those things into our life to get to our financial goals, I believe. So I definitely had to get this. This is another book that is insanely popular. So next up we have Calm the F Down. And this book, I don't really know where to start. It revolves around anxiety and taking control of your life. In front of the book, it says how to control what you can and accept what you can't so that you can stop freaking out and get on with your life. Now, this is gonna sound weird, but even the title, Calm the F Down, and even just that little thing right there that I just read, that alone has helped me get it the book together. Like, girl, you can't change everything. Some, some things are just, they're not changeable. Sometimes you don't get your way. And just even reading that kind of put me in check, you know? As somebody who has a lot of social anxiety and a lot of academic anxiety, if that's even a thing, I felt like I needed a book geared to that part of my life that I needed to develop on. So I went and got a book. Next up we have Wreck This Journal. Now this book was actually given to me by a dear, dear friend. Um, and this book is basically, if you don't know what it is, it's kind of like a book where the book tells you what to do, you do it, and you end up just kind of wrecking the journal. Not like ripping it apart. Well, there are some pages where you rip apart, but I'll give you an example of a page that I did do, which is tear strips rip it up so they give you some lines i don't know if you guys can see yeah so they give you some lines and you literally just rip it up you're essentially just destroying the journal just a book where you're able to just have an outlet and be artistic and let go and not be such a perfectionist with everything i think oftentimes when you know you have a book you want to be completely and utterly like careful and you want to be like oh don't spill this on it don't put gum on it even in this book you have to put like gum on it and stuff like that so I think it's like if you're a perfectionist and you're trying to get over that you might want to get a book like this to just mess it up and really get comfortable with having things not being perfect and even if you're somebody who wants a creative outlet or an artistic outlet I would definitely suggest a book like this also, can we make a correlation to these two books? Like, they're literally telling you, destroy it, burn it, wreck it. Like, isn't that, like, super, like, cool and weird? I don't know, I'm being a nerd. Okay, so the next two books that I have on my list are the After tr Trilogy Collection. Yeah, first one that I have on my list is After We Fell and then After Ever Happy and this is what they look like if you're a wet pad girly you already know about this book you knew this book on wet pad when Harden was Harry okay when the friends when there was Zane and there was this and there was that you was there I was somebody who read the book on wet pad like before you even could pay for wet pad like that's how long your girl was on wet pad at one point in life right even sometimes I'd be going back child I ended up reading the book on Wattpad years later when they came out with the movie. I remember going to the movie theater and it was packed with girls. And I remember I was with a friend and when we were there, we were talking to some of the other girlies and they were like, yeah girl, we read this on Wattpad. I was like, you got the right idea. I do understand that a lot of people shame the movie. They shame the movie a lot and they're like, Harden is a bad person. And while I completely agree that movie Harden is a piece of crap. But I'm going to be honest with you, if you've never read the book, Honey Bunch, you and a cruising for a bruising. 
because movie garden he's nice he's 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 adorable compared to book harden book harden will have you out here diminishing your mental health and you're not even tessa so the next book that i have on my list is pillow thoughts and this book was actually recommended to me by someone i don't even know who, i don't know if i saw a video or somebody recommended it to me but it's similar to flowers on the moon it's kind of like a poetry book and i'm super super excited when i tell you i love i freaking love like poetry books like i don't know there's something about these books that really they're so short they're so impactful inspiring and motivating and a lot of heartbreak there there's a lot of heartbreak poured into some of these books and realism like they're so real like oh my gosh i feel like such a nerd oh my god such a nerd right now i'm, I'm like nerding out like whatever but i'm super excited for this book i do want to read the back to you guys because like what better way for me to convince you guys to get a book like this by reading the back we're gonna read the back so the chain smokers pretty much had a really good thing to say about this book so it says quote as songwriters poetry has always played a special role in our lives we discovered pillow thoughts and it has been one of the most enjoyable books we have read in a long time end quote by the chain smokers if you guys enjoy the chain smokers music take their word for it I haven't even read the book and I'm like take their word for it also says in the back pillow thoughts is a collection of poetry and prose of heartbreak love and raw emotions it is divided into sections to read when you feel you need them most make a cup of tea and let yourself feel oh my god like poetry books will get me like that oh my gosh guys the next book that i have on my list is the money savings book challenge and this is what it looks like and i got this book off of amazon and i'm going to show you guys a few pages so i ended up getting this book with the intentions of I wanted to make saving a little bit more fun. It book does go along with Think and Grow Rich, Rich Dad Poor Dad. It's another method for me to implement in my life to help me better have financial freedom, stability, opportunities, so on and so forth. So I wanted to make saving a little bit more fun. I want my journeys from here on out to be a little bit more fun. I wanted to definitely make it more fun. I wanted something a little bit more childlike, if that makes sense. My inner child was like, screaming out when i got this so and while we're on the topic of money once again i promise this is the last time we're gonna talk about money i also got the book money master the game simple steps to financial freedom by tony robbins this is i would say a popular book within the financial space i, I wouldn't say that it's like super duper popular but in the financial space it is I am super excited, super excited to get into this book. I've heard nothing but good things about Tony Robbins, so I was like, I'm going to run and go get his book. And you're also probably wondering why the book looked tore up from the floor up. Um, I actually found a new method of purchasing books. I am somebody who lives, breathe, Barnes & Noble. When I got my first job, I went to Barnes and Noble. There's nothing like a fresh book. There's nothing like a fresh book that will get you going. I felt like I needed to get my books thrifted just to save some more money. That's where I got like three of my books. So, so the last and final book that I have on my list, I am super, 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 super excited to share this book with you guys. I know it's not a book that is unfamiliar to some of you guys i know some of y'all heard of this book before this book is called the defining decade why your 20s matter and how to make the most of them by meg J. and this is what the book looks like i'm currently reading this book i will not give you guys any spoilers i'm not even going to read the back nothing i'm just going to tell you that this is the book that i'm reading the title alone says it all this book is near and dear to my heart and I will tell you guys why in a second but I want to talk about like what made me purchase this book to begin with so for the last two years 
the topic of being in your 20s have been skyrocketed on YouTube. Like there's so many tips, tricks, advice, so many things happening and I felt like I needed to just put a pause on seeing those things, hearing those things and actually read about it. I, I feel like I comprehend things a little bit more in physical word form and not just the video. I felt like talking about such an important decade of your life is something that I just needed to read from a book instead of sitting now watching a video that only kind of talks about relationships because a lot of the times I see these these 20s videos and a lot of them are geared towards relationship and a relationship is not the only thing in life <laughs> It's there, but it's not the only thing. And one thing that I loved about this book is that I seen in the context that it doesn't only talk about love and relationships. There are other aspects that Meg does go into and I was like, yeah, I want to pick it up. So the reason why this book is near and dear to my heart and it just kind of like, it was given full circle. It was like it was my moment. <laughs> it felt like I made the right purchase. Um, so I purchased it from the thrift website that I was telling you guys about earlier. Again, I'll have that link down below. But in the beginning of the book, there is a mom. I don't know if, if, if she gave her daughter the book or I don't know if you guys could see. It's like, yeah, I'm not really sure if the person's mother gave them this book and wrote that in there and then they put it on the thrifting website. But she just spoke a little bit about hoping that the person enjoys the book and how 20 year olds people in their 20s she recommends it and I can't really read script well but it says somebody made a major change after reading this book and she was like I really want to know your thoughts and I love you I think that says I love you <laughs> so um yeah I felt like that was so like even though that obviously that's not my mom but I felt like that's so beautiful that her mother you know recognized that this is an important decade of your life and here's this book to kind of help you navigate how to make the best of them while some people are just like take this decade don't sleep eat right work yourself to death to fit into hustle culture and then there's one side that's like no forget it your 20s are to explore and waste all your money and do this and do that and it's kind of difficult to be on one side of the fence and it's also incredibly difficult to even be in the middle and trying to balance both of those things so I'm interested to see how this book ends and so far since starting it I've I feel like the realism since I've started this book um, I, I can't lie even if you're somebody who isn't in your 20s and decide to read that book and Meg gonna say it okay she's she's gonna say it with all of that said and done that is it that is on the list I'm done bombarding you guys with all those books will there be a part two most likely because my Amazon cart is flooded with books the thrifting website flooded with the books i am not playing with y'all i need my books plus dr thema homecoming i'm coming for you just now oh once i get my hands on that book i promise that i will not be purchasing any more books until all of these are finished so so guys let me know down in the comments what are some books that you're reading what are your areas that you're focusing on are you more of a poetry girly or boy or whatever you identify as are you more of a personal development are you focusing on your finances what kind of books are you looking to get now we'll catch you guys in the next one